The index function is yet another powerful lookup function in Excel. We can use the index function to return a value in table or range of cells by giving a row number and column number to the function. We will understand this function with the help of an example, so stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel Learn in 5 Minutes. So let's start. As you can see that we have some basic information of few Asian countries in the table here. Now we will use index function on this table and fetch specific data from the table by using index function in this examples. So let us see how this function works. In this first example, we will type equal to index open parenthesis and select the range of country names from the table, comma, h2, close parenthesis. And we got Iran as result. The index function retrieved the seventh row from the array of countries we provided. In this example, we have used only one column and multiple rows. But now, in next example, we will use multiple rows and multiple columns, or rather we will use the entire table. So let's see how this works equal to index open parenthesis we will select our entire table comma our row number in h7 comma our column number in i7 close parenthesis and we got mnt that is currency of mongolia the index function retrieved value from the intersection of eighth row and fifth column and returned it let us see one more example here. We have capital here as New Delhi and we need to find the country and area. So in our country column, we will use the index function. Our function goes like equal to index open parenthesis. We will select our entire table comma 4 which is the row number of New Delhi comma 1 which is the column number of country close parenthesis and we got country of New Delhi as India. Now let us copy the entire formula and paste it in the area column. Everything remains same except we need to change the column number from 1 to 4 because the area is in the 4th column and we got the area as well. Now if we change the capital from New Delhi to Islamabad, the other data doesn't change. This is because we have mentioned the row number and column number in the function itself. To make this dynamic, we will have to use match function in combination with this, which we will see in another tutorial. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.